the information you need relating to the sport you love, all within five minutes. NASCAR 5 starts right now. Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR 5. I'm your host, Bryce Turner. This weekend, the Cup and Truck Series race at Charlotte, while the Xfinity Series races at Iowa. The schedule is coming up, but first a look back to the races at Kansas. Jimmy Johnson won the SpongeBob SquarePants 400 from Kansas Speedway. Kevin Harvick, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Jeff Gordon, and Joey Logano rounded out the top five. Meanwhile, Kevin Harvick continues to lead in the standings, followed by Martin Trex Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Joey Logano, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. For more post-race coverage, visit Carnestazier and click on Closed Wheel Racing. Also, be sure to visit my website, bryceturner.wix.com slash home. Follow me on Twitter, at BryceT24 and at NASCAR5. You can also use hashtag CanRace, and be sure to check back here with my YouTube channel. Matt Crafton won the Toyota Tundra 250 Truck Series race. Ryan Newman and Johnny Sauter finished second and third. Crafton continues to lead in the standings, followed by Tyler Reddick and Eric Jones. It's time now for a news update. In the news, Kyle Busch will return to the Sprint Cup Series this weekend. Busch has been sidelined with an injury that resulted from a wreck. This was from the Xfinity race at Daytona in February. Now, Busch is back behind the wheel of the number 18 Toyota for the All-Star race. Kyle is also chase eligible, but he will need to win a race and reach the top 30 in points in order to contend for a spot in NASCAR's playoffs. Meanwhile, Brett Moffitt has been named as the primary driver of the number 34 Ford, which David Reagan was originally supposed to drive. Reagan is subbing in for Brian Vickers in the number 55 Toyota, as Vickers is sidelined with blood clots. In other news, a reminder of the All-Star format. 17 eligible drivers are already entered into Saturday night's All-Star race. Another three drivers, being the top two finishers and fan vote recipient, will advance from tonight's sprint showdown into tomorrow's race. The showdown will consist of two 20-lap segments, while the All-Star race will consist of four 25-lap segments, followed by a 10-lap dash to the checkers. And a reminder to tune in to Can Race for coverage of the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. From driver features and interviews to schedules and race results, Can Race will provide coverage of the season opener from Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. The CTMP pre-race show is already online, now on my YouTube channel and website. Tonight, the Camping World Truck Series will race at Charlotte Motor Speedway with the North Carolina Education Lottery 200. The race will begin at about 8.45 p.m. Eastern and will air on Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports Racing, the Motor Racing Network, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place at 5.45 today with TV coverage on FS1. This weekend is All-Star Weekend from Charlotte for the Cup Series. That means the races do not count towards the point standings. The last chance sprint showdown race will begin at around 7.15 p.m. Eastern tonight with broadcast coverage on FS1, Fox Sports Racing, TSN's 3 and 5, MRN, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place at 4.15 today and can be seen on FS1. Then tomorrow night, it's the Sprint All-Star Race, where the winner will receive $1 million. The race will begin at about 9 p.m. Eastern and will air on FS1, Fox Sports Racing, TSN's 1, 3, and 5, MRN, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place right before the feature at 7 p.m., with TV coverage airing on FS1. And on Sunday, the Xfinity Series will race at Iowa Speedway with the 3M250. The contest will begin at around 2.15 p.m. Eastern with broadcast coverage on FS1, TSN2, MRN, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place tomorrow at 5.45 p.m. and is not scheduled to air on TV. Thanks for watching this week's edition of NASCAR 5. I'm Bryce Turner. Enjoy the races.